Good morning. So it's 7.30. I'm on my way to take the HESI exam. Uh, I woke up a little early because I was anxious. So I decided, I usually don't eat breakfast, but I didn't want to be hungry and freaked out when I'm trying to take the test. So I stopped and I got some coffee from Starbucks. Um, if you don't usually drink coffee, this might make you more anxious, but my body is used to me dumping caffeine into it every single day. So I grabbed some coffee and just some egg white bites to munch on before I start the exam. So I will check in afterwards. So I just got to the nursing campus. It's 8 a.m. Check-in starts in 15 minutes. <clears throat> I have coffee. I have chapstick. I have pins. I have my ID. I have my school ID. I have snacks. I don't have my fucking testing ticket. Why am I like this? So, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna figure it out. I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back. The crisis was avoided. I was able to print out my testing ticket there. And I just got out and I got a 96%. Girl. For real. So I got a 100% in math, 90% in the reading comprehension. Those were kind of tricky. Um, biology got a 96%, grammar 96%, and vocabulary 98%. So it looks like your girl got in. So I'm home now. I took some time to call my whole family and brag about my score because basically off of our point system for the school I know that I'm being accepted into the nursing program now. So it was exciting to call and tell everyone but I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I studied um, to get such a high score on the HESI. So I never thought that math would be my highest score because anyone that knows me knows that I am just not good at math at all. But I got 100% in math. Um, there wasn't a lot of hard algebra in the math section. There was a lot of fractions um, like adding or multiplying fractions. Um, there was one question about military time. There were a few conversion questions just as soon as I sat down. I wrote out the King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk and then I was able to do the conversions um, just looking at that. There were only a few word problems but they were pretty simple. Um, so I would just really study the fractions and the conversions. Um, not really, or there were a lot of questions about um, ounces to milliliters and like ounces in a pint and ounces in a gallon, so make sure that you know those um, basic measurements. And then reading was my lowest. I got a 90% in their reading comprehension. The readings were really long and boring and the questions were super confusing. Like I would read the question and not even know what it's asking. But um, I only missed like four I think in there because, or four or five because I think it was out of 50, 50 questions so I missed five to get the 90. Um, so I didn't actually go through the reading section in this book. Um, I went through all the other sections in here. They have all of the conversions I was talking about and like practice problems for the fractions. Um, I didn't go through the reading part in here, so maybe it would have helped me with the question type, so I would go for that. Um, the vocab, there were only a few words that were in the vocabulary section in the book, but a lot of them were like, had context clues that you could figure out what it was saying, um, especially when you compared it with the other multiple choice options, like there was one that you could tell. I only missed one question on the vocabulary. I got a 98% on that. And then biology, I was worried about. Um, it did ask me about mitosis, meiosis, how many chromosomes are in a haploid cell, um, about water, um, molarity of solution, so hypertonic and hypotonic, 
cellular respiration, and just um, basic organelles and their functions in the cell. Um, I got a 96 on that. And then, grammar was pretty easy as well. I got a 96 in grammar. Most of the questions were pretty easy. There were just a couple that um, were like the independent clause and the dependent clause. I didn't really go over that. Um, but most of the questions would have a sentence and they would just say which word is being used incorrectly. And it would say like, I eat it in orange today. Obviously, that was the, <laughs> the wrong the wrong use of the word. So all I used for my studying was this booklet here. I didn't um, read it a whole lot. I just skimmed through it basically and made some notes, especially over the mitosis and meiosis, just because I haven't taken um, a basic biology class in a while because I've been in the upper level classes now. So I didn't really remember like simple things like that. And I just went over cellular re respiration a couple more times because it asks you like the yield of glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, things like that. And then, oh, I use the HESI Pocket Prep app on my phone. So I'll put a link for the app in the description. Um, if you have to choose between either the app or the HESI booklet, I would go with the app. I did pay the $12, I think it was, to get the unlock all of the questions in the app. And if you have to pick one, I would go with the app because the app bases the questions directly out of this booklet that I was talking about. So even if you don't have the booklet, it'll ask you the question, and then if you get it wrong, it comes up with this explanation of the question, and it basically shows you the page um, out of this book that it got the information from, and it just tells you what you need to know about that. So I use the HESI Pocket Prep um, Mostly, I use that like every day for a month, doing all the practice questions on there. And so I'm pretty happy with my score. I got a 96% and I have a 3.85 GPA. So I'm in the program.